Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, not another DIY vlog and this week we're going to be planning for the week of March 16th through March 22nd and we're going to be doing a little spring vibe. If you are interested in how this turns out, please stay tuned. Okay, so I pulled most of these stickers from the um, iHeart stickers, pastels, and then of the spring spring happy planner book and then you know some odds and ends from other books so i i do like the way it looks even though it's not even organized right now so let's start putting things down and see how this is going to go this week coming up today is actually the um 14th which is the saturday before this week starts and it's going to be an interesting one. If you are not caught up with what's going on in the world today, um, the coronavirus is out. And it is causing mass hysteria, mass panic, mass everything for people. So I am a school teacher and they have canceled school. <laughs> so this whole week they have canceled school. Thursday they said they will give us a call updating us on you know what what they're going to do for the following week but this week we are going to be doing a digital learning um week which is nice uh the i'm hoping their plan and we'll have to see how this works out but i'm hoping their plan is that we do our digital learning days and we don't have to make days up you know what i mean because i'm not really a fan of the making days up um Especially if we do the digital learning days because those, um, for some people, take up a lot of time. Most of our students do the digital learning days, which is surprising, but they do. So, um, I'm just whiting out all this extras here. I do not like these whiteouts. They are not my fan. They are not my, my friend, mostly because, and they are, they are the cheap friend, mostly because I am left-handed and it is a struggle sometimes. Because I think I'm pulling them the wrong way, but that's the only way I can pull it to, you know, get it to work. Anyways, but yeah, so uh, we, are be, we are going to be doing digital learning days this week. Which will be interesting. Um, I have not put my assignments up yet. I was called Friday. Um, the person that's over our uh, content at the county level called me and asked if I would do some like practice lessons for people to follow. So I do need to do that. But I was like on the weekend though. Like I am not a fan of doing work on the weekend. That I should not have to do so it'll get done it's probably Monday though <laughs> I am that teacher like I make sure my time is my time and so but anyway so this week there's really nothing for me to do as far as work goes besides check in on the digital learning day I usually put up very simple assignments for the students however I believe in my second level class I teach three two two different levels um, that I just see the same kids in the third level that I had in the second level, basically. And in my second level class, I'm going to give them a project because I was going to give them the project anyways. But it is, uh, I'm just putting all the dates down right now. But it is a disease project because we're working on the nervous system. I do teach a class that is like anatomy and physiology. And we're working on the nervous system. And I was going to give them this little assignment on Monday in class where they have to make a brochure um, describing a nervous system disease or special senses. So like taste, sound, hearing, taste, sound, vision, or smell. But I think vision, I mean, smell and taste are the same, are on the same thing. Anyways, um, I was going to give them that and they were going to make a brochure. So you know how if you walk into the doctor's office and... Um, they have those little informational things you can, you can read while you're waiting, or if you're diagnosed with one of these said diseases, you can, they give you this information on it so you can 
be in the know or whatever. That's kind of what they were going to be doing. I'm going to hold Sunday for just a moment. That's kind of what they were going to be doing. So um, I think I'm going to give it to them. Um, our lessons are only supposed to be about 20 minutes because the students still have um, seven classes to get through all the work. So what I was going to do was assign it and then tell them don't spend more than 20 minutes on it a day. So they can break it up and do you know, this much work this day, this much work this day. And then I'll have it due, um, hopefully, the week after that when we come back to school. But at the rate we're going, I'm not sure we'll be back to school that week. And then the following week after that is our spring break. So I'm hoping they don't cancel our spring break. This is, like, really crazy the way it has panned out. Because I was called Friday before they even made decisions about us being out for um, the coronavirus and then I had a co-worker who was not I was called Thursday because we actually were supposed to, we were actually already scheduled to be out Friday which was yesterday let me get my story straight so anyways but I was called by a co-worker who was out on Thursday and she was like why haven't we canceled school yet and I was like you know I think it's coming but the county that I'm in likes to err on the side of caution most of the time. So they're usually the last ones to ever um, reschedule anything. I mean, um, cancel anything. So there is that. So we are not going to school. I do have to put up my little digital learning day lessons. So what I'm going to be doing is, let me hold those for just a minute. I'm going to be just making my regular to-do list. And then... Um, I'm going to put for every morning I have to get on our platform and check on the students and make sure they don't have any questions I'm thinking if I can I'm going to set up like a chat feature that way if I do have kids who have questions um, they can put their question in the chat and when I check in the mornings I'll answer the questions and that way other people, other students can see what they're, what people have been asking. And if they have the same question, then they don't have to ask me again. You know what I mean? Um, they also will let me know who's actually going on there to check things. I'm not really keeping up as far as grade-wise who checks it. I'm only going to be keeping up with who turns in what. So that's the important part. So I guess sometime this weekend, I do need to put that up, the lesson up and try to figure out the chat feature. So for that, I'm gonna put this laptop sticker here. And then I've been trying to clean my inbox out every week, so I'm just gonna put that here. As so Actually, can I put it? I'm gonna put it on this little box here. How about that? That makes life easy. Okay, let's do it that way. And I'm gonna clean out inbox, and I might clean out all of them um, just because I have the time. On Tuesday, so with them doing the corona thing for our school, we actually have, for, for my job, school-wise, I actually am in school, and they are going to be, they did cancel classes for my school. So, um, there is that. But I think I do still have an assignment due, so I need to be doing that, getting that posted and then it is St. Patrick's Day, so I pulled these shamrocks. I've been trying not to ruffle the paper so much because I was listening to my last video and that was annoying me. So I'm like, chill with the paper ruffling. I like the parchment idea, but I don't want to hear the paper ruffling in the video so loudly. Anyways, I hope that hasn't bothered you guys. So it's St. Patrick's Day, so I found these shamrocks that I'm going to use as my to-do list for this day, which I thought was very cool, you know, props to me. Um, and then I'm going to be working on whatever assignment it is that I have due, but I'm gonna I'm probably going to start that, like, now. You know what? I didn't know all these were going the wrong way. Let's, put, let's move these around just a little bit. So it doesn't seem so wacky. Um, so, yeah. And we actually got classes canceled for the next two weeks at my school. So, 
something I don't have to worry about is driving there because we drove every Tuesday we had class and we drove there. I'm going to put this um, chat sticker for me getting on and checking on my kids, my students. I call them kids, but they're students. And then I'm going to spell out St. Patrick's Day just because I don't have much stuff going on um, this week. So I am spelling it out across the page to take up more space. And I actually like the way it looked. And then what else do we have going on? Oh, I did decide that I am going to be working on my Etsy shop this week since I ain't got nothing else to do um because me checking on the students doesn't take that long I usually give them a very detailed easy assignment um even in my other class my third level class so I'm, I don't want them having to we have to put an assignment up if we want to not have to make these days up we have to have assignments and our students actually have to get on and be like they monitor how many students are on and all that stuff just so we don't have to make the days up so it's highly encouraged. We do have a surprisingly amount, a surprising amount of students who actually do get on there and do the work and they turn it in. So that's very helpful for us. So I do have to give an assignment. I can't let them not have anything to do. However, I don't want them having to do anything very difficult, especially without uh, like specific instruction. And also because they have other classes, and my class is considered elective, which doesn't mean it's not as important. However, I am a little more chill when it comes to like, you know, restrictions and things like that, that other teachers are not so chill on. Um, it's just because I don't, I, it's not my intention to stress any kid out. Um, they have siblings. So if they're using, all using one computer at home, even if they, even if they, if they have a computer, that's what I'm trying to say. If they're all using one computer at home, then we don't need to be making these assignments to where everybody can't be successful. And we don't want them, um, well, I don't want them I don't want them um, trying to do the assignment all day. You know, I just want them to, I was trying to count that so I can center this. I want them to be able to get on real quick, get what they need, and get off of the computer, especially if somebody else needs to use it. And then at when when the school day is over, they're done. Like, don't be trying to do all this work at night and things like that. That would stress kids out to me. So, there is that. <laughs> all that to say. So we are going to be chilling this week. I am going to be working on my Etsy shop. Um, I, if you don't know, I do run a, um, well, I say I run. It's really not even off the ground as much because I'm making all of the products like everybody else does on Etsy. However, mine takes just a little longer, so I need to be a little more focused on it. But it's called the Quirky Baby Boutique. So if you're in in need of any kind of um, baby supplies, so bibs, boppies, burp cloths, those kind of things, I am your girl. If you want something custom, let me know. Shameless plug. Um, I like the way that looks. That's cute. All right, and I'm probably going to put like a no class right there just so I know I'm not going anywhere. I have no real plans this week. And then I'm going to put this cherry blossom sticker down first and then put the to-do list because I want it to overlap it just a little bit. Um, it is. This is the first week of spring. So that's exciting. And it kind of shows like today it looks really pretty outside already and it's only like 8 o'clock or something like that. It's early. Um, but yeah. So I'm putting my to-do list down so that I can um, prioritize things that I want to do on these days since I'm not going to work. So I'll have eight hours of where, I us where I'm usually at work doing random stuff of time to do things that I want to do, basically. So I'm going to be doing a lot of sewing, 
to get my Etsy shop off the ground. I have a lot of stuff already sewn. I'm going to be researching one of my goals for this quarter, which I'm probably going to come out with a um, quarterly check-in video for my goals. But one of my goals for this quarter is to um, apply for two craft events, vending events. And I'm probably going to have to schedule those out since since the coronavirus is there and I don't want to book something and then they tell us that you know they have to cancel it because of social distancing I don't mind distancing myself from people I don't want to get sick it's not as terrible as the media is making it however um, you don't know who you're coming in contact with and then who in your family you're going to come in contact with that you might get sick and that you know it might be very difficult for them to get over it so um, you know watch out for your older people older generation people and things like that I am by no means an expert in this subject I'm just saying things that I don't want to happen is me being around people and then I meet up with my own family and you know things don't don't work out the way it should so there's that all right so um, I am good with social distancing I am going to be at home unless we need something like emergency wise but we pretty much are stocked up <laughs> me and my sister were laughing the other day because we went to Walmart of all stores um, I think it was like Wednesday we went and she for whatever reason wanted to buy a grill and so we went to Walmart and I was like it's gonna be a madhouse in here so we get in there and she gets her grill and I needed some coffee creamer so we went and got my coffee creamer and then we got like some stuff to make dinner for that night and um, we walked to the checkout everybody had like these buggies full of stuff <laughs> and here we is with just a grill and some coffee creamer and a few other things and I was like these people are really serious like of stuff tissue paper all of that the memes about the tissue paper is cracking me up anyways um, so she went and got her grill or whatever but hopefully won't need anything important we have a lot of things we, we buy for the month we are very lazy people and we do not like going to the store I know I don't and the most I will go to the store for like halfway through the month is probably gonna be the creamer for my coffee okay so I'm gonna put this important sticker down here because this is the day they said they were going to call us and let us know what's going to happen the following week. So I want to make sure I answer the phone because when they called the other day, it was a 1-800 number and I didn't answer because I was like, I don't know who that is. Thankfully, they left a message because I haven't been checking my email because we were technically off yesterday. So I wasn't, you know, worried about checking no email or anything like that because um, I'm off, you know. But anyways... So, and I know the number now. I just really, when they first called me, um, they called us like two years ago. We had the the big hurricane, and I can't remember the name of it, but we had a really big hurricane come through. Um, and they called, I swear they called from a local number. And so, you know, there is that. I want to put these girls like here. Uh-oh. I might have to, okay, so I want to peel these two stickers up real quick like and I'm gonna put this here you know there we go have a little picnic we can have a picnic out here in the front yard not at an actual park and that's the other thing that's like killing me so we're social distancing and um, you know people are gonna be stuck at home with their kids for some of these counties that I in the state that I live in are like indefinitely like until further notice kind of things and our school is like we're gonna reevaluate our situation in a week but anyways um but some of these people are like gonna be stuck with their kids and they're like we're gonna go to the arcade into the movies and I'm like that is not the point of social distancing like it means to distance yourself from people so you know okay and then and then and then so what I want to do with this bottom part here is I want to layer this like this so it'll be you got this going down which I think will be really cute however 
it'll cover up this and that'll be the only date that I write in because I don't have any scripts I need to go on and see if I can find some scripts but let's 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 let's, let's, let's do one thing at a time here um so yeah I'm going to be using my to-do list these days for things that I like I like to set goals for myself like I want to get this many things sewn and things like that we have also bought a Cricut which has been sitting for like a week now because of work and all of that but we've bought a Cricut and we're gonna figure out how to use that baby and we're gonna start using it and I'm probably gonna be using it more for my boutique the quirky baby boutique than anything my sister's probably just gonna be using it for the fun of it I don't know I don't know if she has big plans or not but we have no clue what we're doing which is crazy because we bought the item and now now we figure out how to use it but that's the same thing that happened when I start sewing my sister bought me a my younger sister bought me a sewing machine and I had used one before, but I wasn't an expert. And I can't say I'm an expert now either, but. What in the world? I don't know what that was. I don't know if y'all could even hear it. But I'm sitting right in front of the window. Maybe I should move. It's pretty scary. Anyways, life goes on. Um, but she bought me a sewing machine and I just learned how to use it. Pinterest, YouTube. Just figured that thing out. Alright, so I think I'm just going to have Sunday be a whack day as far as me writing it in. My handwriting is not that good. So I'm going to start here. Waiting on my sister to come down. You hear that? Shock chain already came down. I'm wondering if somebody's calling the cops. Sound like gunshots if you didn't hear it on there. I might not even leave <laughs> leave it in. Okay. You got this except for the, this is cricket. Uh oh. Tilt it this way just a tiny bit. Okay. Eh, kind of looks cute, all wonky like that. So let's leave that. And then what I have this okay. Friday. I'm putting a little to-do list here. We'll see what we have to do for the next week. I did put my um, regular little sticker here for my videos, and I moved this one to Friday. Um, my posting of my videos so there's that and then Saturday I'm gonna put our today down here we're gonna put this spring is in bloom here and then we're gonna put this to-do list down and then we'll build the rest of our stickers around that Boop. Okay, so we're about done with this week. Depending on what they say for the next week, I will be either planning another digital learning activity or I will be getting ready to go back to work. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm hoping that they're like cleaning everything at the school, you know, because goodness. There's no point in going back if the school is still going to be the same German infested. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Kids are German infested, though, if you ask me. Okay. I'm going to put this one here and we can just write something out if we need it. Boop, boop. So there's that. And then we have. Uh oh. 
Oh, that goes here. This is for me to check in with the digital learning day for Friday. And then we have Sunday, which I'm going to put this down here. Put the number over it, and I'll write Sunday in, even though it'll be the only thing wrote in. That'll be okay. And then we'll put this today sticker down here. And then we'll put our checklist. And that'll be about it. So, not a busy week, but there will be some things that need to be done. You know what I mean? And they will get done. Hopefully I'm as productive as I want to be this week. Okay. I am pretty certain I'm going to love the way this looks. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast. I'm gonna call this a finished spread. So, this is what this week is looking like. I do love the way it turned out. Got a little blue foil action going on. Um, if you like the way this turned out, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. I do appreciate you guys for watching and you guys have a safe and wonderful week.